Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms, and I'm on my way to visit my friend Paul Case on a property that he is logging. And you guys know I do firewood and some tree felling and basically any chance I get to run a chainsaw. But I'm always looking for opportunities to learn from someone who has more experience than me. And, you know, these are two guys that do this every day and have been doing it for a long time. So they're gonna take down a really big oak tree and I'm interested to watch how they go about it and just learn as much as I can. I think it should make a really interesting video. So I appreciate you guys for tuning in and let's get out there and get started. Well, this is definitely the property, but it doesn't look anything like it did a few months ago. Man, I thought he had kind of said they hadn't had as much time to work out here as normal, but they have made a ton of progress. I can hear the saw running, but I'm not sure exactly where they're at. So let's go find them. As I walk by this old red, white, and blue truck, I'm gonna do an impression of my favorite Paul Case line. He says, it was freedom what brought me here because freedom is the name of my truck. Morning, Paul. Morning. Boy, this place looks a lot different than it did a couple months ago. I wondered if you might think that. So, well, you know, both sides of this are already leaning, so you know where they're going. And this one here, necessarily go that way. Hopefully, you may have to have my wages. Hopefully, they go that way. So, I don't bust it. so as much lean as this has, um, you're just gonna make a standard cut. I'll make my notch, and then I I bore cut. That's and, what I like to do too. And then the, with it leaning like that, I'll probably and it, it catch 22. If you don't, you gotta leave enough to where it don't pinch your saw. But if you leave too much, the barber chair on you. So you might have noticed he made a really shallow face cut and they do that to preserve as much of the log as possible because these are saw logs and they make money by the board foot. So you don't want a big face cut damaging part of that lumber. And the only other option is a Humboldt, which is an undercut. And that can't be used if you're cutting as low to the ground as possible. So it just makes sense to use that shallow face cut.
Yeah, so there's, there's a big hollow pocket at the bottom of this where the two trees came together. And then it's got a lot of lean. I don't know if you can see that. Got quite a bit of weight up top going two different directions. So I actually did a tree pretty similar to this, and honestly, the one I did, the big hackberry, was larger diameter, it had a lot more branches and large branches on it, and pretty tough tree to manage, and I got through it. What impressed me watching this operation this morning is how quickly they made this look easy, and processed this entire thing down into usable saw logs, firewood, and a brush pile and almost looked bored doing it. I definitely appreciate these guys letting me tag along today. Paul has his own YouTube channel. It's called Paul Case Farms. So if you haven't already, go check him out.
I keep thinking that looks kind of like what I do, only 10 times faster. He just does it without thinking. Let, let me tell you what he cut last week. Uh, there was five loads of logs on my Kodiak truck, which are usually around 800 board foot apiece. Those were all saw logs. And then, I don't, there was some still left here, but I left with nine loads of logs like that on Freedom. Hmm. Speaking and of we, which, I was- We were a day off. He only worked four days. It's pretty good. I mean, he only he... works six hours a day too, because he's yeah, producing more wood than I can sell pretty much on the firewood end right now. I was going to ask you how you got here. How I got here? Yeah. What do you mean? Freedom brought me here. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite line. I, I it, put that in the last video. It, with you. it was freedom that brought me here. Because <laughs> freedom is the name of my truck. Any of you that don't know, freedom's the name of my truck, and you should get a picture of my truck around there behind of you. It's red, white, and blue. Freedom has offered me the freedom to not unload firewood. When I was out here a couple months ago, this tree was buried in the woods, and obviously it's all clear there. But if you look here, I mean, you couldn't even see any of this back here. That is a lot of clearing for two guys. Yeah, I didn't get the hell out of any of it. Mainly one guy with the chainsaw and one guy on an old wheeled bobcat. They were grown together, but he fell one into them that sprung them apart. Oh, they were wrapped around each other right there? Yeah, this one was into here. And another tree hit it and they popped loose. Yeah. They kind of look like they were wrapped around each other. Twinkie! So I was really impressed with how quickly they cut that tree and got it all bucked up into usable logs and the, the brush sorted out and said, looked like they've done it before. But I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. I felt like I learned a lot. I really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos and I'll see you next time.